Hey besties, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Catherine. I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my go-to summer fragrances for this past summer and it's still summer but I'm trying to keep summer going on. I know everyone's really into fall now. Anyway, let me show you guys the best summer fragrances for summer 2022 and if you want to see last year's video i'll have it right over here so let's go ahead and get started now i know a lot of you guys were quite confused why i didn't have this fragrance in my project use it up and this fragrance right here is probably the best fragrance for the summertime i had to actually get into it at first at first i did not like it in general i was just like wait what is the hype i don't understand why everyone's obsessed with this fragrance and this is of course the one the only beach nights aka beach night summer marshmallow when i first got it i wasn't into it at all i thought it was just like an airy s'more i was assuming there was going to be more like decadent marshmallow gooey sweet sugary fragrance in my assumption it smelled more of definitely a beach nights just what it literally smells like it's sweet it has like almost a salty note as well the scent notes have toasted marshmallows sea salt breeze s'mores accord beach driftwood and creamy vanilla this is actually my backup fragrance i only bought two during the semi-annual sale and let me tell you guys it smells so good it smells amazing let me tell you guys this really funny story my sister smelled this right when i had it on and she fell in love with it that she wanted this fragrance to be her essential fragrance now every time she showers now every time she goes out she sprays beach nights and i wish i was able to gatekeep this because every time i want to wear it i already smell it so it makes me not want to already wear it and it's not because she's wearing it i don't want to wear the same fragrance it's because i've been so used to the fragrance of beach nights in my house already almost every single day wears this fragrance that i'm like hmm i don't want to get sick of it so i'm gonna take a pause on it but she did want the mist and she's actually on vacation right now using it up but she didn't bring the lotion uh, body cream but she did learn from me who else who else would she learn uh, to cut up her body cream because she was trying to get every little lick every little drop and really proud of her but this was in the bathroom so i just want to show you guys this but she's not a big fan of the body lotion but i i really do enjoy the body lotion especially for hot summer nights and i don't want it to be so sticky but this right here is number one of my summer 2022 this is such a good fragrance i hope you guys were able to pick this up during summer annual sale and if you were a little too late in the game call up your outlet your closest outlet to you if you do have one near you and see if they have it because they normally have the leftovers from summer annual sale in their store so I really enjoy beach nights. This is such a good fragrance. I wore this a lot in the beginning of the summer before my sister caught on to this immaculate <laughs> sweet fragrance. Now another fragrance I want to highlight that I talk about so much on my channel. You guys are probably thinking to those who don't like this fragrance think that I overhype this way too much and I do because it's a fragrance that I cannot get sick of. And I swear, every single empties video I do on this channel, there is basically either one or two bottles of this fragrance. Now, this summer fragrance is Boardwalk Taffy. I talk about this so much. And it's also known as Cotton Candy Clouds 2. I do have another version of it as well. I did buy that version. But I can go through a whole bottle of this so easily. I can go through a lot of bottles of uh, fragrance mist very easily, but this right here, this is like liquid gold to me. I can spray it and not get sick of it. Like for example, Beach Nights, I smell it in my house from my sister using it and I can get kind of get like sick of it, you know, but with Boardwalk Taffy, I can use it anytime, any year, but for the summertime, it's so delicious because it enhances the fragrance because you're in the warm weather and it just makes it so nice and so sugary. The scent notes are sponge sugar, pink berries, and whipped vanilla. The berry note is not strong at all. I would say this is definitely like a candy floss taffy note this right here is the truth if you are a starter or a beginner to bath and body works no matter what your age is if you want something sugary and sweet you need to try cotton candy clouds or boardwalk taffy they're basically the same and they're so good i i can't say enough about it if you want a nice 
sugary fragrance that's not too artificial or synthetic this is a synthetic sugar but it's not like artificial and too strong kind of like for example champagne sprinkles or cotton candy champagne and that aspect but this right here is so good i have to talk about it every time especially for the summertime such a holy grail for me so moving on whenever i think of summer i think of coconut fragrances and sometimes coconut fragrances can be really intense for me so i try to find fragrances that have a fragrance of any type and then they add a tiny bit of coconut rather than like a strong dank coconut for example frosted coconut snowball i can't do it it's way too strong for me but there are some coconut fragrances that i've been really enjoying this summer that are really nice and not too strong but they are just enough for me to get that coconut craving in so the first one i have here is pastel skies so i love the packaging first of all it's so pretty it gives me cotton candy sky vibes where i live now they have the prettiest skies especially during the sunset it's so gorgeous but let me tell you guys the scent notes it has soft cloud berries pink spun sugar and also coconut musk so when I first tried this, and I've actually used a lot of this already, I'm like in the midway point, but this one has such a nice coconut musk. You can definitely smell that sweet sugar and also that delicious berry note as well. It's not so overwhelming, but it can be if you can build it up. If you definitely have like all the whole set of this, it can definitely be really strong, but I like how that you can build this fragrance up and it's not like so potent right from the get-go. I've been really enjoying this this past summer. You guys can see if I put this in a project, use it up, it will be done in within like two weeks. But this is such a great example of coconut, but not too strong. If you like a fragrance that does have a little bit of a warmer coconut fragrance, this one right here is calling your name this is bali black coconut sands i got this last year during semi-annual sale and this one has tonka bean and also a warm like vanilla coconut fragrance the scent notes will be right here i mentioned this in my last video and you guys this smells so delicious it gives me almost like a fall version of coconut if they were to ever do that you guys can see I have like this much left. It's probably one of my favorite fragrances to use, especially when I have a lotion that's not too strong. I'm currently using Coconut Palm with this from Bath & Body Works. And that one's more of like a coconut leaf fragrance rather than like the sweet sugary coconut that you're used to. That one's really good. It's very fresh and I add this on top and to make it a little bit sweet and it's so good. So definitely if you are in the market for like a warm coconut vanilla fragrance, give this one a shot. It's so beautiful. I love how it goes on my skin moving on to another coconut fragrance you guys will probably love this a little bit more than i do if you have been shopping this past summer but this right here is a new fragrance called copper coconut sands i want to mention this just to give you guys some more variety but when i first smelled this i fell in love with it so much this has sun-kissed coconut soft orchid petals and creamy sandalwood i definitely smelled the sandalwood and the soft petals and it has like this just unique floral sandalwood coconut where I couldn't really find that in any other coconut scent. It's so unique. It's so rich and very strong as well. I think this is the perfect fragrance to wear when you're going out, when you're in like a night of town, you're gonna go get drinks with your besties. But I will tell you guys this, since I have been trying to use this up, I've been getting more of a black licorice note. I'm not a big fan of black licorice, but you add coconut into it. That's what it's been smelling like. I think it's because of those orchid petals and the sandalwood combining together. It smells like black licorice. So if you love the smell of black licorice and you love that treat, this right here, take it out of your collection right now and use it up because this is what it smells like to me. It's very strong and ugh, I really did enjoy this right when I had it, but I'm getting this black licorice and it's not my go-to, but I do want to mention that this is a nice contender for the summertime, especially for the evenings. And if you want something a little bit more sexier, a little bit more mysterious here and there, like, ooh, what does she smell like? A little black licorice, babe, you know? Please let me know if you have this fragrance and if you feel the same way or if you're noticing it too, because that's the vibe that it's giving. 
All right, you guys, whenever I'm craving a strong banana daiquiri fragrance, you want to smell like sunscreen or you're wearing a sunscreen that has a very strong sunscreen fragrance, this fragrance goes so well with sunscreen. And this right here is Belize Tropical Cabana. I think that this is probably one of my favorite fruity sunscreen fragrances to date. And I think it's the only sunscreen fragrance that's very related to sunscreen that I have. So this has banana daiquiri, juicy pineapple, and golden sands. Now I've mentioned this so many times in my videos when I talk about this fragrance, but if you own Sun Bum sunscreen, this is what it smells like for sure for sure this smells so good i think because i've never owned a banana fragrance before i was a little intimidated by mm, i'm either gonna love it or i'm gonna hate it but i love this so much this is the only bottle i've bought of it when it came out last year in 2021 and they didn't bring it back out this year unfortunately but it's such a good fragrance for the beach or the pool so if you're really going for that sunscreen clean girl vibe you need this fragrance. I don't know what it is. I feel like if you put on a lot of sunscreen and you're protected from the sun and the damaging UV rays, you've made it in life, right? Like that's what it is. That's the goal. Moving on. We have this really delicious fruity fragrance. Not a lot of people like it, but here's the thing. I'm not a huge fan of pina colada fragrances. Now I've showed you guys some coconut fragrances, but now I gotta show you guys a pineapple fragrance that I think you would really enjoy. And this is of course, Pink Pineapple Sunrise. This has sweet pink pineapple, palm sugar, and sun-drenched nectar. They made this so sweet, so juicy, and it has a delicious pineapple fragrance. So you know whenever you have like a peach fragrance and they make it like a super juicy peach, they added that juicy note to it, but they made it into a pineapple, and I'm so here for it. This, and especially in the shower gel, it's so refreshing to wear. I think this is like a perfect morning, mid-afternoon fragrance to wear because it keeps you up, it keeps you alert. Like, like you're drinking coffee, but without the caffeine. Like this is so refreshing, but in a sweet, delicious, juicy way. And I have to keep saying juicy because this is what it gives me. It's so good and I really love wearing it because whenever I need to be productive or I have a lot of errands going on, I wear this fragrance so I can keep going and running because it doesn't make me want to lay in bed, but definitely keeps me alert, awake, and getting ready to get out of the door, out of my house, and do some stuff. So I really enjoy Pink Pineapple Sunrise. It's so perfect for the summer. Now I do have another fruity fragrance that I haven't talked about in a while, and this right here is Pink Watermelon Blast. If you love watermelon fragrances, if you are a melon gal, you love cucumber, you love watermelon, you love something very refreshing for the summertime, but sweet, this is what it is. It has juicy pink watermelon, sugared strawberry blossoms, and lime zest. Now this right here, from Bath & Body Works, from what I've experienced, is the most realistic watermelon fragrance that's actually sweet and not, it doesn't have like lemonade, it doesn't have like this sour note to it. If you want a candy watermelon fragrance, this is what it's gonna give you. It's so good. It is very strong though. I will say it's like more of like a four out of five with throw it, it can be really potent i will say that but i feel like if you have the shower gel on this it'd be so refreshing especially in the summertime if i were to recommend any type of watermelon fragrance from what they've already released this is the best one in my opinion hands down i think it they did such a great job at adding that sugar candy fragrance but also making sure that watermelon is a true watermelon and not just a watermelon rind or the artificial sense of a watermelon this right here is a true watermelon with this nice candy like fragrance definitely recommend to use this for the summer it's so good i need to start using it up whenever i'm craving some Something really sweet and sugary if you're not really into watermelons but you do love a good strawberry I feel like this is the best fragrance that's a good true strawberry especially in the beginning of the summer or the end of the summer you're picking out strawberries it's berry season besties we have a buttercups and berry bellini this is such a good true iconic strawberry it has strawberry puree buttercup flowers and bubbly prosecco now I was really intimidated by this at first because I'm not a really big fan of sparkling champagne seltzer vibes like it has prosecco in this it's so delicious like it's a little bit light it's not way too heavy and like this sugar artificial strawberry but the prosecco the tiny bit of those floral notes hiding behind that strawberry accord 
blends in so perfectly that it's such an easy wearable strawberry like i feel like with me i don't know if you guys have feel the same way but fruity fragrances i definitely have to be in the mood to wear a fruity fragrance for the daytime because it can be a little bit intimidating for me and I, and I think that they definitely make a statement. But this right here, it's a little bit subtle. It's definitely like a safe zone fragrance. So if you have no idea what to wear, definitely get out your Buttercups and Berry Bellini and just put it on and then you're good to go. Now I have a fragrance that's not Bath & Body Works but I really do love bringing this out in the summertime because it's so comforting. I think this is definitely a very home body fragrance but you're trying a tiny bit for yourself. Like this is definitely a self-loving fragrance and this right here is the Brazilian Crush Body Fragrance Mist. Oh my goodness you guys, this stuff is so good. It's so gourmand and super sugary sweet. I have this really huge bottle here, but let me just spray it. I love this fragrance so much. It does have salted caramel. It does have like this pistachio note, and that's what gets me with this fragrance. If you have tried this out or if you haven't tried it out, go to Sephora and do a spray test. Spray as much as you want because they do have spray tests, and these are like the small bottle is $20, which is insane but this smells so good and i love wearing this on nights where i am just gonna watch tv i'm just gonna leisure lay on my bed and just chill and this is the perfect fragrance it's such a cozy summer fragrance that i think oh you just need it in your collection like if you're collecting body care and you're trying to save up money for something i definitely recommend saving up money for this fragrance because it's so good and then i also have been enjoying i've been obsessed with the trader joe's brazil nut body butter now i do have the original sol de janeiro boom boom cream as well but this right here the formula is so thick i love the trader joe's body butter formula it's so rich you can definitely get that pistachio sweet like almost fruity type of vibe this one definitely smells a tiny bit fruitier but it's so good this is around six dollars if you can ever get your hands on it when you're at trader joe's grab it get it it's so good and they always have it in the summertime so these are like, this is like my combo. I put a ton of this on my body. I feel so like nice and clean after a shower. Then I feel nice, soft and supple after putting this on. It's so good. And I, I just have to like, that's my favorite combo recently. I've been wearing it so much. I'm gonna transition a little bit to those out there that really like a nice clean fragrance for the summer. Now this right here, I feel like is so underrated. And I don't know what it is, but this one wasn't really talked about because this was an online exclusive for the summertime. Now this is Honolulu Sun. This has fresh island coconut, Pacific palm, and driftwood. Now think of this as like your outdoor, into the woods coconut fragrance, but in a clean way. Now this gives me like salt ocean breeze fragrance, that nice like fresh coconut, it's not too sweet. And it has like this tiny bit of a musk where sometimes musk can maybe ruin a fragrance if it's trying to be sweet as well, but this right here is like the standard of like an everyday summer fragrance. If you kind of like coconut, but you don't want to smell too sweet, this is what I would see myself wearing. You can wear this to the beach. I think you could also wear this to the workplace too because it does have this clean factor fragrance that it's not headache inducing for anyone that would wear it, especially, well, if you're me, if you spray a lot of things, it might be headache inducing for some people, but I try to keep in mind if someone does say that I'm spraying way too much fragrance, I'll keep it down a little bit, but I don't think I've been around anyone who has mentioned it. And if they did, it would be okay if they told me this is a really nice fragrance and I feel like it's such an underrated fragrance because it was online and they didn't bring it out in the stores but if it was an in-store fragrance it would be talked about so much more so definitely try Honolulu Sun if you have it and you bought it online and you kind of pushed it to the side because summer's almost over but it's such a good fragrance definitely try it out another fragrance I've been really enjoying for the evenings or whenever I want to smell like a little sophisticated but a little bit more almost to the point of where i want to feel a little bit more edgy slash sexy this is golden ocean pearl i know this fragrance was super popular in the past couple months it has bergamot breeze a vanilla orchid and golden amber you have to love amber fragrances to enjoy this fragrance this one has a perfume vibe to it if you want to smell sexy if you don't have perfumes but you have fragrance mist you need to try this fragrance. I feel like this could be a dupe to something in the perfume world. I for sure know that there is probably a perfume that smells just like this and it's a dupe, but I can't 
I don't know much about perfumes, so please let me know if you guys know a fragrance that smells really close to Golden Ocean Pearl, so then someone can like mix and match it if they own it. But this is one of my favorite like evening time fragrances. Currently, I've been using it actually with Beach Nights, and I'll use the Beach Nights lotion. The lotion isn't too strong in fragrance where I don't like get sick of it. As I said, my sister is using that, and then I match it with Golden Ocean Pearl, which is a little bit more stronger in like that amber vanilla fragrance, so it does kind of combat that s'more note that you get in the lotion. It's a really easy combo that I think would match really well if you want something a little different than Beach Nights. I really enjoy this fragrance. It's so good. So let's move on to the next one. We have Fresh Getaway. I, for one, think Fresh Getaway can be a year-round fragrance, but I feel like I've been wearing it a lot more when I want to smell a little bit more perfumey, a little fresh and clean. This fragrance is so good. This has a bright, yuzu citrus and fresh ocean air. If you have not gotten your hands on Fresh Getaway, what are you doing? You need to get it. It's a dupe to Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue and it smells so good. It definitely has a perfume aspect and I love wearing this like when I'm running errands. It's so good, you guys. You need to try it out. I feel like I'm not saying enough of the fragrance, but I have talked about this fragrance so many times that I feel like if you know the smell of Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue, you will love Fresh Getaway. That's what it is. If you're not a big fan of laundry sheet fragrances, but you want something that's like fresh and clean and has a perfume note into it, you need to try Fresh Getaway. It's so good. So that is everything for all the summer fragrances that I have been wearing and would recommend for you guys to wear. Please let me know down below what fragrances that you guys have been trying out this summer. What's your go-to? Definitely mine was Beach Nights. But now, at the moment, it is Copper Coconut Sands, and it's kind of because I'm trying to finish it up, but I have been really enjoying Pastel Skies lately, too. This one's a really good, like, soft coconut fragrance, but it's also warm in a tropical way, but not too tropical. It's so good. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love recommending any type of seasonal fragrances. You guys will see me again in the fall. Fall is where it's at though. I love fall, but I'm trying to embrace summer a tiny bit more and here's where we are. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you all so much for liking and commenting and thank you so much for subscribing as well. If you have any other video ideas that you want to see from me, let a girl know down in the comments and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!